Rama, Rama. The divine is right here, right now, yet we seem to miss it. Although it should be obvious, habit seems to veil the real. Follow this simple advice and come out of this jungle of the mind. Let's discover this truth together. I am only reminding you of the simplicity of your being that can never be polluted, never go wrong, and never be destroyed. It can never belong to the devil, and it can never die. You cannot damage it, you cannot improve it, because it is always perfect. Open up to its presence, it is not different from you. Grace brought you here, and grace is serving your awakening. What I point to is Brahman, the supreme reality. Brahman is like the sun, which just by being enables all life forms to come into their diverse manifestations, each one responding to the same sunlight. Everything bursts into bloom, and yet the sun is not concerned with f with flowers or water, with clouds or rain, but because of the sun, all life forms come into dynamic manifestation. In the same way, once we realize our wholeness, we are no longer individual caretakers of any particular aspect of existence. So powerful and great is the manifestation, presence, and life force of those whose role it is to be the servants of that totality. Brahman, the supreme reality, alone is real, beyond gender, beyond opposites, and in whose presence, through consciousness and mind, the play of interrelated opposites is danced. But Brahman itself is not held inside the play of phenomenon. Brahman is the supreme reality, untouched. It is Brahman, and when it projects itself as the instrument through which duality may manifest, it still cannot leave its own self. Brahman is not directly concerned with male or female, left or right, balance or imbalance. It knows nothing of all this. All this is for humans, not for God, who is beyond all concerns. It is completely beyond, a beyondness of subtlety, not of distance. For as the mind becomes more subtle and the consciousness more refined, conceptual transactions cease, speculations, projections, and interpretations end. There remains only pure and personal perception arising in the majesty of being. As we merge with Brahman through perfect understanding, all duality ends. No longer is there any sense of an entity that needs to determine anything. We are wholeness and move as unity.